fuck my. How y'all feeling? Reflexiations. All right. We back today, man. Y'all feel me? I don't like this shit, y'all. I'm going to let y'all know right now. I don't like it. Because like, I, when I come on this backup channel, I just want it to crack like the big channel. And I think what I'm going to have to do, y'all, is I'm going to have to stop posting on that big channel, period. Like, everybody got to come to this channel. It's the backup channel. Like, that big channel, we going to do lectures here and there. We did the Juneteenth lecture on there. But we really going to be right here, y'all. So what I need everybody to do, man, I need y'all. Can y'all please, if y'all can go live, because I can't go live on Instagram. Can somebody go live on Instagram and let them know that we live right now? And I'm going to wait, because I know we like an hour behind, but I was talking to my brother. It was today's Father's Day, so I was, I was supposed to start this at 3, but I was on the phone with my brother, who I ain't talked to in a minute. That's my 30-year nigga, so I had to talk to bro, you feel me? We really didn't roll, roll and died about this shit together, you hear me? Y'all keep coming in here, though. Y'all keep coming in here. In the meantime, let me play my motherfucking anthem, nigga. Let me play my anthem, Joe. Don't be judging me, neither. Don't be judging me. You feel me? Don't be judging me. Hey. I'm so cheap, you can see it in my eyes. Lately, they've been seeing the cheese on the rise. Shit. Y'all do that shit with Nipsey. 
Y'all don't do that shit with Wayne, so I ain't trying to hear that shit, nigga. They done let the motherfucking GDs in the door, nigga. For real, though. Y'all whole ass. Like, for real, the real don't feel me. Trying to hear that shit. You know what I'm saying? Nah, 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 hell nah. Y'all gotta feel me, right? I am what I am, and what I'm not, I'll never motherfucking be, nigga. I ain't never once told y'all I was GD, nigga. I been GD, nigga. GD crazy, nigga. Seven four. You see that shit right there, nigga. Big seven four. That's what I come from. That's what I am, nigga. Growth and development. If I wasn't growing and developing, I wouldn't even be here teaching y'all my people. You get what I'm saying? I wouldn't be telling my telling the young gangs in the country we don't even be killing each other. Now I'm not with that killing each other shit. But oh no, no, because I got in my story right, y'all. And I'm I'm doing me. You feel me? I'm in that bitch shop. Oh, you feel me? Because GD, that's my tribe. That's the tribe I come from. Like, yeah, I'm a, a, a Nunakai god, but I'm talking about in this third density. You get what I'm saying? Them motherfuckers want to jump in my story. Ain't nothing fake about me, nigga. Oh, because there I'm an intellect. I'm supposed to forget where I came from, nigga. I'm big GD, free Larry Hoover, nigga. Fuck you talking about? Growth and development. That's what I stand for. When you come in this university... If it wasn't for Larry Hoover, I wouldn't know nothing about growing and developing, and I wouldn't be in no position to lead y'all right now. See them niggas that get out there and throw these ranks up, and they killing each other. Them not us. Them niggas imposters. Them niggas come in jail and get their motherfucking eyes and they face beat in. Them fake-ass niggas like Lil Durk and Memo and them fake-ass rap niggas that's calling themselves BDs and these fake-ass GD niggas who they BDK. I'm a real GD. We BGD in. We'll never be G BDK. How? That's the same tribe. So before we were native, you got to remember, before we were tribes, we were just gods. Pre-1492. And then after the great invasion of 1492, they separated us so we became tribal. This is where all the native tribes come from. And your African tribes, your Ashanti and your Zulu and your, you feel me? We've been tribal. So then what happens? After you free us, which we ain't never been free. After they, I meant to say, let me let me reiterate that reflection. After they told us we was free, all right, then what happens? We still stayed tribal. So when the 50s came, all type of tribes came. You had the Black Panthers. You had the Nation of Islam. You had your Christians. You had your civil rights. You had all type of tribes. And then you had your, 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 your Black Peace Stones. That was an organization in the tribe. Then you had your Latin Kings was an organization in the tribe. Then you had your Crips. Was an organization in the tribe. Then you had your Bloods, an organization in the tribe. Then you had your, your BGDs, Black Gangster Disciples, that be us. That's why they used the term Black, because we was on our big Black Power shit back then. Nigga, real talk. GD stands for Growth and Development. I'm going to always rep what I am, and I'm going to live in the vision of Larry Bernard Hoover because his vision was pure. His vision was pure. He's a political prisoner. So they lying on him. They got him locked up for shit he ain't even did. Because when you cut the head off, the body gonna fall. So now you got a bunch of GDs running around saying they GD and they shoot each other, kill each other, rob each other. And they put all that shit on Larry Hoover. But Larry Hoover, you go read his blueprint. His blueprint was for us to grow and develop. Brothers are the same struggle on the boss. What's the struggle? Education, economic, political, and social development. I can't tell y'all no more than that. You feel me? But I'm a real, real God. And a real God go, 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 go move in the full force of high frequency all the time. And that's what I do. And the best way to move in your highest frequency is to be who you are. So, yeah, somebody jumped in my Instagram, y'all. They see me dancing and bopping to this shit. Nigga, but you ain't there. Oh, man, hold your word. Oh, how you a God and you, and you throwing up GD? Because I'm GD too, nigga. Fuck you, man, nigga. I'm GD. I'm from Chicago. That's my tribe. That's what made me who I am today, nigga. I'll never run away from who I am. So if you don't like me, nigga, because now you hear me, they done let the GDs through the door. Nigga, don't follow me, nigga. Because before I ever threw up some ranks, nigga, niggas still reporting my pages. Niggas is still, I'm giving away money. Niggas getting me blocked. Your favorite rappers getting me blocked. I ain't trying to hear y'all can suck my dick on GD. Fuck out of here now, nah, nigga. Because every time I try to live a little, niggas want to say something. Make y'all bitch ass out of here. Y'all whoop every... Well, I get on that. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Nigga, when Nipsey Hussle ass did that shit, I ain't he, niggas was, he died and niggas was throwing up the crib. 
Y'all talking about Nipsey Hustle Blue. When Lil Wayne, no drug addict ass, ain't never did them for us people. Blood and all that, throwing up the bees. All niggas just made blood popular for seven, eight years, nigga. All I heard was blood this and sued that for seven, eight years, nigga. And y'all ain't say shit to none of them whole ass niggas. Lil Baby a known crip. Y'all ain't saying shit to these niggas. But then once I rep what rep my tribe, Big GD, Big 7 4, I ain't disrespect nobody. Because I ain't into none of that goofy shit. The ops is the police, nigga. But I'm going to rep my tribe, nigga, on the pair of these, nigga. Like I said, I'm going to play my shit, nigga. I'm going to bump my shit, nigga, because I am net, nigga. I'm big GD, and I really live that shit. This shit in my soul. I really do grow and develop, nigga. I'm really in the old man vision, nigga. Free him. Fuck out of here, nigga. Y'all are now. I'll never go back to jail, nigga. They'll never take me alive, nigga. That's why I don't give a fuck about having a felony and right here on me with these bitches, nigga. Y'all ain't going to do shit. Y'all ain't going to do shit. I'm going to get on here with these bitches. Now, y'all y'all better go pull up on them rap niggas. You hear me? Nigga, because you can slide this way and nothing coming to you but murder. You hear me, nigga? Fuck out of here, nigga. I'm going to protect myself, nigga. I ain't trying to hear shit about no felonies, nigga. I ain't trying to, y'all can't tell me shit, you bitch ass niggas want to call me a felon. Y'all stole the whole fucking country, nigga. I ain't trying to hear shit, nigga. On GD, on Anunakai Gods, nigga, I ain't trying to hear shit. That's why every time I get on here on that same type of energy, nigga, just to let y'all know, just to remind they ass, nigga, fuck you talking about? Don't paperwork shit with me, nigga. You come my way, nigga, be ready to lead this bitch. Know that. And I'm talking to the elites. I'm not talking to nobody with carbon in their skin. I'm not talking to no nigga that, that's in a, a, a tribe or a gang, whatever. I'm talking strictly to the government, nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. Like I said, nigga, I'm going to protect myself, protect me and mine and my family. You bitches can't tell me shit. I'm on Shaka Zulu time, nigga. Oh, you bitches will never take me alive. You'll never take me alive. So there's no need to put no paperwork in and be like, uh, because I know y'all looking for a reason. I don't sell drugs. I don't do none of that. Y'all don't know if this gun real. It could be a prop. I'm going to say it's a prop. But y'all going to say it's real anyway. Whether it's a prop or it was real. Because the government, y'all looking for a reason to try to lock me up. You will never take me alive, though. Nigga. Uh, you will never take me alive. Gee, so... Ain't no need in even trying to look for no shit to lock me up on. Because I don't sell drugs to my people. And you're not going to tell me I can't protect myself. And I get y'all bitch ass six years, nigga, on, like I said, nigga. Nigga, nigga, slide my way with anything. Boy, we going to get it. We getting dougie. And I'm not hiding shit. I shouldn't have to have shit. I gave y'all bitch ass six years. Can y'all explain to the public why y'all still trying to call motherfuckers felons after they done gave y'all their time in jail? And then niggas get out of jail. Niggas ain't get no jobs. Niggas can't protect themselves or none of that. Why? Because we are not free. Nigga, that's why, nigga. The whole goal is to destroy me and my species, bitch. So I'm going to load up on these bitches and we can do these. We can play with these. You want to play with the magic? We can do that too. I do that anyway. Or nigga, we can rumble in the jungle with these. However niggas want to do it. But you know the time I'm on so y'all can't tell me shit. Bitch ass. And far as you hoe ass, bitch made ass, fake ass niggas want to be. And God says, oh, he threw up some G. I think he's a gang member. I'm not going to. Well, don't listen, nigga, because I was a gang member before I was anything. Never run away from who I am, nigga. Anunakai God, nigga. Big GD. Now, like I said, nigga, I'm going to play my shit because I like Nigga, I can see if I'm going here disrespecting other gangs or put I ain't none of that, nigga. I'm just bobbing. Get off my dick. Damn. Nigga can't. You feel me? Y'all ain't do none of this shit, though. Only guys. Only guys. Y'all ain't do none of this shit all these years. Nigga was big crimps and bloods and suwu. I ain't heard nothing. Now that we bobbing, get off. Right, get off our dick, nigga. Y'all want to let us in. Y'all black bodies. Oh yeah! On oh, the guys, they did. G, 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 G. Ooh. Nigga, this my shit. Trump should have freed Larry. Fuck is wrong with dude? 
Oh, you say you GDK. Fuck is wrong with you? He said, cause you GDE. I can't do no song with you. And if the BDs find out, they gon' put me on the news. I said, like, shut the fuck up, bitch. Stop chicken sides. I'm so GD, you can see it in my eyes. Lately, they've been seeing the G's on the rocks. If they told you something about me, they tell a lot. I know some genies from out west, they got the Let it fuck. I know some On the gas. Shout out to folks from the Mount West. I got a genie bitch from up north, that bitch thick as fuck. And I got a genie bitch from over east that'll stick you up. I like Maseratis. They got forks on it. Put some bread on your head, yeah. Get some G's on it. Get a job, gon' get done. If them G's on it. I know it hurt the whole thing. Get doors, then see G's on it. They gonna let the G's in the door. That's what's wrong. That's what it is. They blackballed us for too long, and now we just everywhere. Hold on. Check this out. They definitely didn't expect to see no GDs on the intellectual side, but I don't know why. See, the government, they fear Larry Hoover because they know what GDs really stand for. I'm a real GD, so what y'all see me doing, this is what we really represent. Real growth and development for our people. That's why they locked Larry Hoover up and they won't let him out to this day, him and Jeff Ford. That's a fact. They are political prisoners, nigga. Just like Matolo Shakur, nigga. Right? So you know the elites mad as fuck. The elites. Not only is they coming in music, they like, God damn it. How the fuck? We already got the... We have a, a Malcolm mixed with Shaka Zulu and Nat Turner here named Rashad fucking Jamal. And it just so fucking happens to be that he... He used to be a GD. So now it's like we just at every angle, y'all. I know I know niggas mad. I know you niggas mad. And I and I do this GD shit the right way. We really grew in and develop. It's about the bigger picture, the real ops, the police. Our struggle is for educational, economical, political, and social development, man. Free the old man, man. Stop lying on us, G. We like the Black Panthers. It's just the, the government took our leader away and lied to y'all. Well, let me be a positive reflection of this gangster disciple growth and development shit. Play our shit. Nigga, I'm in the vision, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Get in my stands, nigga. Fuck the big. Nigga, my six point stands. I ain't trying to hear shit, nigga. I'm lyric. And don't TP me or nothing, folks. Let me let me do me, folks. But the real guys know. GD. 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 Hey, this is my shit all summer, nigga. You hear me? Trump should have freed Larry. Fuck is wrong with dude. That's a real. Look, look, look. I damn near need to. Ruger don't even know he was getting deep right there. He don't even know how deep he got because Ruga is a drill rapper. He's kind of still vibrating low. He don't really, you know what I'm saying? But he got a good head on his shoulders. I fuck with little folks. But when he said Trump should have freed Larry, I don't even think y'all know how deep that line just was. That's some real shit, nigga. If you know what Larry Hoover stand for, you'll know why they never letting him out. Don't let these goofy ass niggas imposters claiming to be us. They ain't us. You pull any of them niggas to the side that's killing each other, throwing these up, they won't know a, a piece about us. They can't tell you what GD stand for, what the left fork or the right fork mean, what the six points mean. Can't get nothing, no, none of that, nigga. I know I was in jail. Niggas coming on, I was checking niggas. Hey, you, you one of the guys? Check it out, folks. What you know? Let me, you know what I'm saying? That's why I be telling y'all, them dirt the niggas, fake niggas, man. All that BDK, GDK shit, BDs and GDs is one in jail. And when you're doing all that shooting, it's going to lead you to jail. And when you get in jail, you're going to run into a real GD like me, nigga. And all that BDK, GDK shit, so what you stepping there, motherfucker, for what you is, G? I'm BD. Oh, okay, well, let me hear this, folk. I'm GD. Let me hear this, folk. You BD and you GDK? We want love, though, G. What you, we ain't, ain't nobody what you saying, folk. Oh, you a GD and you? Man, folk, be on BDK. On GD, on BDK. And you come in jail, nigga, which is where these rappers gonna send your goofy ass. When you get to jail and you wanna tell a real GD like me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break your heart. Folks are gonna break your heart when they make your ass sit down and learn how to read. Cause that's what I was doing. Motherfucker gonna break your heart when motherfuckers make you get in the prayer circles. We praying, nigga. Niggas trying to get back home to their families. Bow your heads, nigga. That's what niggas in jail doing. It's gonna break your heart when you so GD, you so you so BDK, and then you come in that bitch, you run across a real GD. Folks, you ain't BDK, folks. We BGDN, folks. And you still in there, nah, folks, I'm GDK. So what you saying? You bigger than the business, folks? That's how we gonna ask you. You bigger than what's going on? 
You bigger than what's going on, G? Don't even worry about it. Hey, check it out, folk. All the guys, check it out. And motherfuckers gonna beat your ass, folk. That's what I'm saying. Lil Durk and them niggas ain't never lived this shit. They sending you niggas off. What? Nigga BD, he ran to jail. I'm BD, GDK, get his ass flooded. Or nigga GD, I'm BDK, run to jail. I'm BDK, get your ass flooded. Ass nigga. Facts. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So y'all keep listening to them fake ass rappers, nigga. But like he just said, notice how Donald Trump freed fucking Kodak Black who ain't, who's cloned. All right? He ain't gonna free Larry Hoover. He wouldn't have freed Jeff Ford, nigga. They two here. And you know how many GDs it is and stones it is? That's too much power. They free them. All the killing gonna stop, nigga. Because for all the little gangsters who don't know who don't honor Larry, that's where the mid gangsters come in at this. We the bridge. You know what I'm saying? We, we at every level. You sure these think this shit started with y'all, nigga? Nigga, we at every level. This nigga's 70. This, what? Come on, man. And the older it get up, you're going to see that this shit ain't got nothing to do with killing your own people. No gang organization was started as a gang. It was an organization. And no organization had nothing to do with killing your own people. Not no bloods. Bloods were started because we blood in, blood out. We here to protect our bloods, nigga. The Crips was started. Community resistance in progress. We here to resist the fucking community resistance in progress, nigga. That means we here to fuck whoever up that's come to violate the community. That's what Crips really started from. GDs, BDs, Stones, protecting the community, nigga. Latin kings, Latin queens, they was crowning themselves. That's why they own the crown. Nowadays, they game bang with it, but when they started, they was crowning the, their species. Latin king. And we know that Latin and black, the same thing now. Latin queen. They was calling themselves kings and queens. Nowadays, niggas don't even know. They dropping the crown. Niggas talking about they kings and they game banging. Niggas talking about they, nigga, we didn't, nigga, this ain't got nothing to do with no game banging. The only niggas we game bang with is 12. For real. Like I said, like he said, Trump should have freed Larry. Fuck is wrong with dude. But I'm going to keep letting y'all pal up in here because I know we was letting y'all get up in here yet. I ain't even rolled up yet. But yeah, now nah, I had to dress this shit, y'all, because motherfuckers be killing me, y'all. I can't never be me on here. Nigga, I go out and have fun. Nigga. Oh, he's spending money. He fake. I play a song. Oh, he ain't real. Nigga, I'm showing you I'm real because I'm not hiding myself. I've never hid who I am. How about you? I don't give a fuck what no motherfucker think about me, nigga. That's what it is with me. I'm going to play my shit without interrupting this time. You got to be this shit in my soul. I come from this shit. So it hit me different. You see what I'm saying? It ain't even what he's saying. It's just the fact he said on GD. That's all I need to hear. And they blackballed us in Chicago. So if you know how hard GD's got blackballed in Chicago, you gonna really fuck with this shit. Tell me. GD. 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 That's why they didn't want us in the dough. The elites know where we at with this shit. They know where our mind at. You really one of them guys. They know. Trump should have freed Larry. Fuck is wrong with dude. Oh, you say you GDK? Fuck is wrong with you? He say cause you GDN. I can't do no song with you. And if the BDs find out, they gon' put me on the news. I'm like, shut the fuck up, bitch. Stop picking sides. I'm so G, you can see it in my eyes. Lately, they been seeing the G's on the rise. If they told you something about me, they telling lies. Facts. I know some G's from out west, they block me lit as fuck. Facts. I know some G's from out south, they'll hop out, flick it up. Facts. I know some G's from out south, they'll hop out, flick it up. Facts. I like Maseratis, cause they, they got, got G's, G's on it. Put some bread on your head, yeah, I'll put G's, G's on it. Get a job, gon' get done, if them G's on it. I know it hurt to open the door, and see G's, don't it? They gon' let the G's in the door. GD again. 
He used to be GD, he flipped BD, he GD again. Yeah, GD's up a hundred points. Play with one of them G's, you gon' see a hundred joints. I know some GD's in the county, and some in the joint. Facts. Ain't no sliding through the G's, so we be on point. Facts. Bitch, hey, ask me how old I am. I, I told a 7-4. I'm gonna be GD till I die. I hate the Let legend. you know. It's a lot of shit going on around me. Never, never know. know. I know it hurt to see them G's when you open the door. They done let the G's in the Ah, door. they let us in this bitch. Ay, they done let the G's in the door. Yeah, they done let the G's in the door. Ah, they done the let us in this in bitch. G's. Boy, I thought we ain't gonna never get in this G's. motherfucker, nigga. I ain't gonna lie to you. G's. They done let the G's They was hating on us so hard. Ooh, I'm like, niggas ain't gonna never get in this bitch. We gone, man. Shout out to Ruger. Shout out to J.H.E. Ruger, man. My only thing to him is, look, God, you make good music. Stay the fuck out of Chicago, man. And, uh, you know, keep expanding, young, young gangster, so that you can take your music and raise the frequency more. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I know you just rapping about what you know right now, but you got a good head on your shoulder, so you, you get the more the more mature you get, you can expand. Because Ruger, the, that artist, he real talented, but, you know, he's still kind of drillish with all his lyrics, but that's the life, that's what he kind of in. So, you know, that's why it's like that. But I can tell that as he continue to mature, because he got a head on his shoulders, I don't really hear him dissing the dead too much and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? He even said, rest in peace, the OTFD thing when that happened. So, like, you know, he kind of, you know, got a head. He was kind of like Duck. That's the FBG Duck cousin, too, for y'all who don't know. If y'all don't know who Duck was, the guy that was killed by the Chicago police. Murder still unsolved to this day. They trying to play it off like they didn't kill him. The elites killed him. Yeah, though, so... I fuck with that. I think I might got, I might have to get that on the shirt though. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna have to put that on the shirt. Trump should have freed Larry. Fuck is wrong with dude. That's a raw ad. That'll be raw as fuck on the shirt. I ain't gonna sell your shirts though, Ruka. I ain't gonna do you like that, G, but I might have to get that on the shirt, fuck. I ain't gonna lie. Nigga, that's the, that's the realest shit I done heard on the record in a long time when he said Trump should have freed Larry. Instead of them other niggas, what the fuck is wrong with dude? But why would they free Larry Hoover? He gonna bring unity, and he's gonna bring unity in the community. The only motherfucker that'll try to kill Larry Hoover is some little 21-year-old shorties. They don't know no better. See what I'm saying? But then, when you got, that's where the bridges come in at. When you got us out here, we we just leaving our 20s, going to our 30s. We the OGs, so they gonna listen. So it wouldn't even go like that. You get what I'm saying? He would get out, and a lot of OGs would fuck with him. And the OGs would help clean up the streets. You know what I'm saying? They don't want the streets cleaned up. Larry Hoover don't want us killing each other. He want us better in our communities. Facts. Like, this is this, this, this man law. You know what I'm saying? That's what he want. Like, that's his vision. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I say, like, all throughout history, y'all, whenever it's any, whenever you get any form of a voice, they have always attacked us. They have always the, the few of us, the few good gods, because I don't like to say man too often. You know what I'm saying? They, they always make us look like we the bad guys. Like most people, when you hear Larry Hoover, you think he a bad guy. Because you immediately think about some GDs killing people and gangbanging. And yeah, that ain't what he was about. Now that he, that's what these other motherfuckers doing. Shout out to Mary. That ain't, what, that ain't what we about. You know what I'm saying? That ain't represent us. The niggas who out there talking about they GD and they BDK, they not GD. And if a nigga talking about he GDK and he BD, he not BGDN. And you can't BD, you, if you BD or GD, you really BGDN. So if you a BD or a GD and you saying kill a BD or kill a GD, you not BGD. Yeah. You just an imposter, nigga. And you gonna be an imposter until you get to jail. And then when you get to jail, motherfucker gonna smack your lips together and he gonna be like, damn, well, why the fuck am I out there killing BDs if when I get in jail, I gotta get along with them? Why am I out there killing GDs if when I get in jail, I gotta get along with them? That don't even make sense, y'all. So that's why I say let's end the street. Let's end the senseless street violence. And for all my youth that's out there that's in gangs, you need to ask your gang chief or whoever, whoever put you in the gang Whoever made you in the set, you need to be like, okay, if we this set and we repping this, I want to see the literature. What is our what is our gang about? And boy, y'all brands gonna be fucked up, boy. Every fucking gang leader had a head on them, boy, and they had some real shit. They was talking about vice lords, all that. They five points ain't got nothing to do with no violence, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I want my shorties to used to see that. I'm here to unite the gangs. I'm here to gather the army. You see what I'm saying? These gang members ain't gonna listen to nothing but nobody else but an ex-gang member like myself. You can't not be from these trenches and think these shorties gonna listen to you. You ain't never lived this life. You ain't never played no cuts. You ain't never sold no drugs. You ain't never 
You know what I'm saying? You ain't never went to trial, fought for your life, or none of that shit. These shorties ain't trying to hear you because you just another motherfucker talking. So that's what the, the elders got to understand, too. Like, you need, I'm needed. My presence is needed. I'm the bridge, nigga. I'm the bridge. Because I can come talk to the elders, and we won't talk about no, no street nothing. You know what I'm saying? I, I adjust my conversation for whoever I'm talking to. That's my gift. We could talk about GDs and in that same sentence, I can flip it up and we could talk about gastric bypass surgery. You feel me? You know? We could talk about GDs or we could talk about geography. We could talk about G's or we could talk about sacred geometry. You know what I'm saying? That's that's my gift to y'all. You know what I'm saying? That's what make me the bridge. And I fully embrace my uniqueness. You get what I'm saying? All right, y'all. So look, we at 3.33. Today's supposed to be Father's Day, so shout out to all the gods who are real fathers out there, man. Bay is over here cooking this motherfucking jerk chicken. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna eat it, because we don't eat chicken. We don't really eat chicken, so Bay made some jerk chicken for the holiday. She over here doing her, doing her wife thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm rolling up. I love you too, Paula Walker. I'm rolling up. You hear me? And everybody who been thank y'all for loving my crystal jewelry. These are on my website. Okay, so they're on my website. I'm about to fuck around how this trending in a minute. I think I'm about to start having crystals really trending, trending on another level. Because the way y'all telling me the way I wear my jewelry, I'm just going off a child saying. Y'all like, man, God, the way you be putting your jewelry together, man, that shit be hard. God, that your jewelry fight. Like, that's how y'all be saying, I don't even look at this as jewelry. These are my, this is my, my shield. Now, they told you in religion, have on the whole shield. So, notice y'all, y'all notice how I switch up. I wear different crystals and different combinations and different. Yeah, it's my shield, my energetic shield. Yep. Yes, it is. How's y'all feeling reflection? Shout out to Chanel Harris. Quee Lake says vegan life, definitely. I'm not vegan yet. If you want to know, I'm not 100% vegan. Nah. I want to get there though. Yeah, definitely y'all coming in, smash the like button. And if y'all coming in, please go on Twitter, go on Instagram, let them know we live. Just tag me, you know what I'm saying? I think somebody will see it. I don't know. You know how y'all do y'all thing. Cause I, I can't get off here and let them know we live. So, yeah, I see you, Paula Walker. Man, I'm gonna have to cut, cut that AC on. I'm gonna have to cut it on. It can't be on. It's hot as hell in here. I know. I know why it's hot. I'm saying what it is. She's talking about because of the oven. I know it's the reason. I'm telling you what it is. Shit, I know why it's hot. You gotta cut the AC on. Uh, we gonna have to bring this live back later, my nigga. It's like, yeah, y'all. So we here to talk about ah uh, the truth about college and Uncle Scam. And this is a new YouTube page, so we should be pretty good. I'm not pretty much too concerned with them messing with this one. Because if y'all notice, with this channel, I haven't put too many, too much content on here yet. I'm doing that purposely. It's all by design, y'all. And the content I did put is I put a couple freestyles on here more than anything. Feel me? Even the last lecture I gave, I, I feel, had a lot of gems in it. And it only got like 4,000 views on this channel because people don't know to come to this channel. And um, the thumbnail. 
You know what I'm saying? Thumbnails should be the thumbnails too. Now y'all fill in. They think college or the military the only way to be successful? I mean, well, you can't knock your people for that because that's what your people been, that's what your people been taught. That's 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 the American dream. Like that's how we were taught. So definitely, if you come out like the '90s, I say anything. If you was born in the '90s back, you believe that college is part of it's a necessary step to adulthood, to the evolution of evolving from what they call a baby to all the way to in a full-fledged adult. They even make you feel like you're not smarter or smart enough if you don't go to college. Right? That's what they tell and teach. That if you are not smart enough, I mean, you are not smart enough to typical standards if you do not go to college or you do not graduate from high school. But it's all good reflections because we finna get to the bottom of it. Y'all go ahead, roll up. They got this oven on, y'all. Y'all gotta bear with me. Hold on, I gotta regather, y'all. The wife is cooking. What it do, reflection. Get myself an order, y'all.
y'all. I'm back. I had to get some air. It's hot than a motherfucker. Yeah. She's cooking, and I'm literally right here by the oven, y'all. We are gathered, starting to cool off, y'all. Starting to cool off. Let me see the lighter, babe. Plus, you gotta remember, I was just dancing and jumping around myself. Now, you combine that with the oven heat hit me, boy, I got a little. You know, when that heat hit you and you already overheat and you'll get the feeling lightheaded because you will. And then some people get the what? They'll pass out. Why? Because your conscience has to rise to a higher phase because heat rises and you are heat. Facts. All right, y'all, we back, y'all, we back. I had to get some air, turn the AC up. I'm coming back, y'all, I'm coming back, y'all. Let me slide this over, okay? So before we get started, it's imperative that I open up this lecture with the right spiritual energy. So first, let me start by saying peace to the gods and goddesses of planet Kai. Peace, meaning positive energy always creates elevation, okay? Or proper enlightenment always creates elevation. All right. Let me say that first and foremost. To all my elders, those 65 and older in university, we appreciate you for being here, for gathering today. We appreciate you. For those who are my peers, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, we the bridge. We appreciate you, Reflection. All right. appreciate each and every one of you. So I need y'all to give me a second. I'm going to pull this up. Y'all can talk amongst yourselves. Let me pull up these, these notes. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, y'all, you know, they lied, they lied to us about so much. So today I want to address this college scam. And I want to address how it has fucked us all the way up. All right. So that's what I'm pulling up. I'm pulling the uh the slides up for y'all. Y'all know we got a deep, but we gonna roll. So we just prepping. Just get y'all time to roll up, chill. It's Father's Day, gods. Relax, gods. We cool with y'all. It's Father's Day, man. And you know I love y'all on Father's Day. I don't take no days off, do I, y'all? There's really no days off for real over here. I hope y'all noticed that. That's why when I do take a vacation, I'm like, damn, what do motherfuckers be on with me? Like, I don't deserve to, to take a vacation and chill, man. Like, nigga, it's Father's Day, and I'm the only nigga working right now. Like Black History Month. That shit don't mean nothing. Damn. My bad job. I was trying to pull something up and somebody made a YouTube video and tagged me in it. It says black YouTuber says fuck Juneteenth. Good bad. I wrote that motherfucker perfect. Gotta ask you that. Alright. You think it on their ass. Alright. I'm going to show y'all all about college. Hey, 
Hey, y'all. If I was them, I would be mad at me too, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, this little motherfucker. Fuck. I really be on their ass because I told them I'm not playing with their ass. Not playing with them, G. Like yesterday's lecture, Juneteenth wasn't even supposed to be a lecture. Thanks, babe. Let me find out you just want to touch my chest. Wasn't he supposed to be a lecture yesterday, y'all? You hear me? Man, listen. Nigga, it became a lecture. I ended up pushing the Mark Henry, le le Mark Henry lecture back to later on today. And I'm giving two lectures today, y'all. Come on, man. Okay. Y'all stay with me. Okay, first slide. And for those of you who didn't see the uh the Juneteenth lecture yesterday, I did that on my main YouTube channel, the University of Cosmic Intelligence. Please go check that out. Share that, spread the word, ASAP. All right, we on my website tonight. Mark Henry lecture, uh www.theuci, the UCI dot online, which y'all should know the name of my university by now, the University of Cosmic Intelligence. So the UCI, that's what UCI stands for. All right. Zoe, you're a little too loud, um, beautiful goddess. It's okay, daddy loves you still. Now they get loud, black kids will be loud. We don't, they don't try to be, they just got a lot of energy. We just come, we just come to the planet like this, y'all. We just come to the planet like this, you know what I'm saying? They be trying to hold us back. You know what I'm saying? They be trying to hold us back, y'all. Oh, they blocked the video for being viewed. That I didn't know that they blocked the June Teeth video. I know that I know that uh if you under 18, it has an age restriction on it, but it's not blocked though. No, I don't think it's blocked. You probably you probably got you probably under 21. YouTube and age restricting all my videos. They don't want the youth to see it. So they're not blocking video. They're not deleting videos. Now they're just going age restricted shit. My bad, y'all. Somebody had to call my phone. I had to... <coughs> All right. <coughs> All right. You got YouTube preview. Yeah, it might be you, because, like, they didn't block the... Uh, yeah, it's still up. The June 10th video's still up, guy. It might be on your end, or you... Uh, it probably wasn't working when you clicked on. Just try it again. Yeah, somebody just called me. I just had to put it on D&D, on, on &D though, man. And I've been trying not to D&D &D motherfuckers, y'all. Because when I go on D&D, &D, that affect people that really know me that call me. Thank you, Paula Walker. That affect people that know me that really call me. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers don't get through for weeks. I'm trying to tell you fucking with me. Because it's like when I get on here, motherfuckers will see me and call me. It ain't, nigga, you seen me. You know what I'm saying? You ain't, ain't no way you didn't see me on here. And let me call and see if I can fuck up the live. Nigga, yes, you're gonna freeze the live because you call and it's gonna freeze my live. So now I'm on DD. Y'all can't call through. Now what y'all gonna do? Damn, G. They be trying to make it. You feel me, AJ? They be trying to make it hard out here for a pimp. You feel me, A-Jizzle? A-Jizzle! A-Jizzle, feel me. I'm real. Try to make it hard out here for it. Young God. To teach his people, enlighten his people. All right, so we're gonna learn some new words today. We're gonna do some etymology, y'all. Don't even worry about it. I got y'all. We can do all that. 
I'm just pulling the pulling the slides up for y'all on my on my on my thimble. On my electrical thimble. I don't want to call this a laptop, y'all, or iPad. It's not a laptop anyway. It's an iPad with a stand. It looks like a laptop. So I'm gonna say on my electrical thimble. You hear me? Yeah, thimble. That's what they used to call little notepads in school when we was growing up. They was called thimbles. You get what I'm saying? The teacher used to be like, pull your thimble out. You know what I'm saying? Let me teach y'all how to expand y'all vocabulary too. The reason why I have such an extensive vocabulary, see I could have just said big, but I used the word extensive. You see what I'm saying? The reason that I have such an extensive vocabulary is because I honestly read a lot. I read a lot. And then, and I don't read to like take in shit. I just read to read words. You know what I'm saying? It's exercise. It's mental exercise. And then I'm very inquisitive. There goes another one for you. For those who don't know what inquisitive means, because a lot of y'all do, a lot of y'all don't. We ain't judging nobody, okay? Inquisitive just means curious. So I'm very inquisitive, but I'm not going to dumb it down and say curious. For you, you going to have to rise up to my frequency and just learn what the fuck inquisitive means, okay? I'm not dumbing it down for no motherfucker. I will break it down. I won't dumb it down. That's two different things. Let me enlighten you. See what I'm saying? And I don't judge you. Like, I'm just a silly soul. If y'all ever seen the movie Soul, I promise I'm just like that Soul 22. That's really me that they talk about in the movie. If y'all want to know. So I'm funny. I'm silly. I'm, I'm a protector, though. So, like, I love y'all. I love my species. Anything I, I, I have a, that's, that, that's, that's close to me, I'm overprotective of. I'm real over. So I'm overprotective over y'all ass. I ain't playing about my people, man. I don't give a fuck if my people recognize me or recognize I as a, because me means the ego. I don't really like to say me. I really prefer to say I, which means the soul. So most individuals don't, most of my people, you know, they, they starting to recognize. Here, here you go, baby, you good? Yeah, but I'm like that little soul 22, y'all. So we're going we gonna to break down the etymological meaning today of certain, certain words. Because when you're dealing with college, oh, 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 you got to know these words. You gotta, and when I say know these words, I'm not talking about your dictionary. I'm not talking about, like I was saying, I'm, in, I'm inquisitive, so I have a big dictionary, a big uh, vocabulary, or an extensive vocabulary. You get what I'm saying? Because I've, I was always the type, and I'm still like this, like, if you say some shit and I don't know, I'm going to ask you about it. You get what I'm saying? Like, if you say a word, if you say anything that I don't know, I'm going to ask you about it. You got to repeat that for me. You just can't say that, you know what I'm saying, and run off. Shout out to the uh, Cosmic Intellectual Agency. That's one of the guys who, who, who's helping uh, keeping the messages going. So shout out to him. I spoke to him earlier. All right. But yeah, I was always one of those ones that like, if you know something or you say a word or if I see a word, like, I just can't jump around it. And I'm still like that. Like, if I don't know what it means, I'm going to look it up. I'm not finna read shit and you just finna be da 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 and then you jump over to keep reading. Like, you know, people like that. Like, you know I'm not lying. Y'all still do the shit y'all self, man. This motherfucker all day right here. Y'all nigga be like, ooh, these hauls decent. Who made these? Hauls relief, relieves cough, and... Relieves coughs and... Re hauls relief, relieves coughs and... Relieves coughs and sore throats, cools nasal passages. That's what motherfuckers do. When in reality, 
It says hauls relief, relieves coughs and soothes sore throats, cools nasal passages. Nigga don't know what soothes mean. Say a person don't know what soothes mean. They ass gonna jump right over it like relieves coughs and You know, motherfuckers make these stupid faces when they try to en enunciate or pronounce a word correctly that they don't know for the first time. Niggas be like, relieves cough saying, so, so, ah, he's, so, the, s. Then niggas get frustrated and be like, Release coughs and <laughs> sore throats, cools nasal patches. That's what niggas do. See what I'm saying? Me, you know what I'm saying? She laughing because she about to do it sometimes. Y'all do the shit. That's what niggas do. Niggas jump completely over the word. Niggas, see what I'm saying? Niggas don't want to challenge they self. Or let, if a motherfucker do know how to say the word, they might not know what the word mean and they're going to read around it. Like, you just can't jump around that shit. It's there for a reason, nigga. It's there for a reason. Now, back in school, your ass would have got all type of check marks on your paper. That was wrong. Take your ass, sit back down, do it over again. No, that's wrong. But now your ass an adult and ain't no teacher there to preside over your ass and you ain't got your mama in your motherfucking ear going inside your motherfucking shit talking about how many buses this gym have. You know what I'm saying? It's just you. Niggas get lazy. Niggas be and jump completely over the word. Whereas the way I've always been, and I'm still like that, I'm too inquisitive for that. So even if I don't know what the word mean, I got to go, what the fuck they say on the package release calls and, and what? And if I don't know how to say it, this me all day. I will type the word in and hit this on y'all ass. This me all day. Let me teach y'all last how to use Google, motherfucker. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> Nigga, if I don't know, say I didn't know the word, I'm going to type it right in Google. If I don't know how to say it, I'm going to be like. Education. Oh, okay. That's how you say that. That's how you say that. Education. 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 You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh that's how you pronounce that word. I guess y'all ain't know that. Let me help y'all out, man. This is a university. Whatever word you don't know how to say, people, in 2021, can we please use these tablets and these cell phones for more than just talking shit to each other? <laughs> like, nigga, if you don't take your ass to Google, type it in. Nigga, if you don't want to rewrite it, copy and paste. They make this shit so simple, nigga. Because, nah, nah, fuck that. Because y'all ass too lazy out there, nigga. Y'all making me feel old. And I know I ain't old. No, nah, man, nigga, we ain't grow up with all this shit, nigga. I shouldn't even have to say back in the day. But technology was just bombarded so much in between when I was in high school to now that I got to say back in the day. Right. Nigga, we didn't, we wasn't able to just jump on the laptop, nigga. If you didn't know that shit, boy, your ass was in, in hell's water. And the teacher would call you purposely. Oh, it was on the spot growing up, nigga. Your ass don't know a word. Teacher love to call the nigga they don't know how to read. Boy, that's why I made sure I knew how to read. Leave me the fuck alone, because as soon as she called me, nigga, I'm standing up correctly. I'm yelling out whatever it is. What? Rashad White. You read. up. Calls, relieves, relieves, coughs, and soothes sore throats. Cool. Cools. I use all the techniques. So even if I know the word, I'm going to make her think one of the words I don't know just to show her that I was paying attention to her techniques of how to how to learn words you don't know. I was always slick and snot, nigga. You hear me up? I, I know the whole sentence, but you're not going to be calling me all class. So I know I've already figured out. I watched the last four niggas stand up and, and get laughed at and cried their way back to their seat. I'm not going to walk up. You're not going to call me in class to stand up. And nigga, I get laughed down all the way in lunch. Now I gotta sit at the lunch table alone because I don't know how to read. No, nah, you go, you ain't finna fuck my year up. I'm trying to get with Katrina Stone. She the flyest one in fourth grade. You ain't even finna fuck me up. I'm out I'm on my shit. Halls release. Relieves, coughs, and soothes, sore throats. Up, but I can't let her know I read too good because then she gonna wanna call a nigga all the time too. Cause there's so many motherfuckers that they, they can't read. So let me balance out the energy here. As soon as I get the cools, I know it's cools, but this me. C <coughs> C 
whose nasal passages. The teacher just smiled like, thank you, Rashad, you can sit down. Now she finna call motherfucking Rael Jones because his ass wanna fight all the time in front of her and be bad. And then his ass stand up, here he go. Here he go, that's what I'm saying. Motherfucker stand up, Rael Jones read out loud. And look, the, the, it never fell, right? The motherfuckers who couldn't read did the most shit though in front of the teacher. Like, that was never smart to me. First off, I always sat in the back, and I didn't sit right in the back. You know, when the first day of class come in and y'all got to pick y'all own desk, nigga, I was always make sure I was the first one to pick my desk because I got to be set up for the whole year, nigga. You get what I'm saying? I need that back seat, and I need to be in the corner with it. I can't be in the back seat in the middle because if she at the board, she can spin around and catch me in action. You feel me? She might just be like... And happen to look up and catch me like this. No. But if I'm in that corner, if I'm in that corner, nigga, I'm, I'm going crazy as soon as she turn her back off. <laughs> nigga, before, and, and I know she's going to turn around because I used to watch that shoulder. You ain't, your shoulders can't, listen, you can't turn around. Listen, and you 52. You'll be 53 next week. <laughs> You'll be 53 next week. I'm nine. What you talking about? There's no way you can shift without me not. So I'm good in this corner. I'm going crazy. I'm spitballs, everything. I, don't let me like you. I was bad with it. I was bad as fuck, but I was sneaky, though. And I got good grades. So I was super sneaky. I couldn't do no wrong, nigga. What let me like you? Let me like a little girl in class, and, and I send her ass a note. And I'd be like, do you like me? Yes, no, or maybe. Because we, we work in the college, y'all. We work in, this is, we on point. Let me like a little girl. I'd be like, I'll send her a letter, y'all. You know, I'll send her a letter. I be, it didn't pass four hands before it even got to her. I'm like, hey, look, Charmaine, I need you to pass this letter to Patrice. Tell Patrice to pass the letter to Timothy. No, not, not Timothy Little, Timothy Jordan. Because there's always two motherfuckers in class with the same name. Like, no, not Timothy, not Timothy Little, Timothy Jordan. You pass my shit to Timothy Little, he going to run my shit to the teacher. No, because you already be knowing then. See, like, society starts as little kids, y'all. Motherfuckers, them same souls, the niggas that was doing that, when you grow up and when they get grown, we be the same motherfuckers. It's the same souls, y'all. We the same. Like, we just get older, but your soul, nigga, is you. You been that same little soul since your ass got here. You was grown since you got here, nigga. You ain't even know it. You made them decisions, nigga. You decided when you want an apple juice, orange juice, the whole nine was you. You get what I'm saying? That's why I say we gods and goddesses, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Age and time ain't real. But no, nah, though, I, my shit didn't hit five hands before it even got to the girl. That's how it was back then. Nigga slap everybody. Nigga, you didn't sit it through so many hands. Everybody already know who you like. Now everybody know I'm like. I'm trying to talk to Mallory Hughes, and everybody know now because I didn't send the letter through six hands. What you didn't send Mallory? But let Mallory get my shit, and she don't respond. Cause I'll be looking. I'm in the back, y'all. I'm in the cut. I told y'all, and I promise anybody went to school with me. I'm not exaggerating. I had this same seat literally kindergarten through eighth grade. And then got to high school and did the same shit. I was, I'ma always be in that corner in the cut, in that right corner, whatever class. Any motherfucker went to high school with me, college with me, grammar school with me, job call with me, gonna tell your ass, boy. If they get on here and they remember my face, which they gonna remember Rashad White, because my whole name is Rashad Jamal White. You know what I'm saying? This is my real name. I just don't like that white slave master shit, so I just drop White off and run with Rashad Jamal, but yeah. They're going to be like, oh, yeah, he really did. Yeah, well, I'd be in the cut, that same right cut, and I'm in that corner, nigga. K through 12. I don't give a fuck what school I went through. I need that corner. I ain't trying to hear shit. We can, we can really box about that seat in the back in the corner. I need that. You feel me? I need that because I, I, I was always, look, I was always a class clown. Like, like how y'all be thinking I'm funny. We, we was like this in class. Like, I was like this in grammar school. Motherfuckers were like, boy, you remind me of Martin. I love making y'all goofy ass out here. But... This was how we was, like, and we, like, growing up, like, no lie, I was always having everybody in class laughing, and we was always kicking it, like, if you was in class with me, we kicked it. You know what I'm saying? You knew if you had class with Rashad White, nigga, it was going to be a fun year, nigga. You like, I got class with Rashad, I'm in that bitch, we in here. You know that first day of class, niggas walk in, you find out who you in class with for the year, you, oh, you got this class this year, too? We, we, we lit, nigga, we in here together, nigga. Niggas walk in, nigga, I'll be the first one in that corner, because I need my seat. 
then I don't really want to fight nobody about it. So I will fight about it, though. But I'm not really trying to fight nobody about it. So let me just be the early word. Let me get there early enough to get the seat. And I'll make sure I'm there. Nigga, I'll be in the cut. Nigga, you walk in, I'll be smiling. I'll be just like this. You already know it's going to be a long year. Nigga, I'm just like this when you walk in. For real, that's me, y'all. Swinging in the chair. Motherfuckers piling in class. Oh, you in here this year too? Oh, we been have. All the girls love them. They see me, they come in. Me and my other homie, we used to have that, everybody laughing. Motherfuckers come in, they, oh, we got class with Rashad, we gonna be late, girl, you already now. Motherfuckers laughing before they even sit down, because they already know what we on. I was pranking the teachers, all type of shit. I was him, y'all. I was bad, man. But I was good, though, at the same time, so I was able to get away with shit. Like, all the teachers liked me, because I was always smart. But I was bad as fuck. And I was smart enough to know, let me get good grades so I can have all the teachers, even the principal, around my motherfucking finger. Nigga, I'm going to do what I want to in this bitch, nigga. You hear me? Teaching me? Niggas getting in trouble. I know Rashad ain't do Nah, I ain't had nothing to do with nothing. You know what I'm saying? I didn't. I'm the reason the whole lunchroom started throwing food. But they ain't going to think Rashad had nothing. <laughs> Unreal. You feel me? So, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, y'all got to learn how to use Google. Because that's what we was talking about, like. Google, using Google. Because when we was in school, like I say, you can literally get right here. You'll know how to say a word for those in university. Because I know I use words sometimes and everybody don't know these words. So if you didn't know, if you didn't know, all jokes to the side, y'all, for two, for two and a half seconds, y'all. <laughs> Look, you can, you can really put a word in. This basic for some, but believe me, y'all, everybody don't know this. And I just want the youth that's in here to pay attention to know this, because we're going to get deep today about etymology, because we're talking about college. We're talking about different things today that's dealing with more, more of the educational area, if you want to call it that. So when y'all see words y'all don't know, don't just jump around them. Now, especially not today. Not today. Just, just go to Google, put that shit in. Even if you're not a said, click on this. Education. Well, she halfway saying, I don't know, she must be just, she education. But at first she said education, man. Education. Education. <laughs> what is she on? But anyway, you get the point. The first time she gonna say this shit. After that, her ass get drunk. I don't know what I don't know what she on. Cause that doesn't say <laughs> that don't say education. And I don't want you doing that. Cause then you do do that, and then you be like, you feel confident. Just imagine a motherfucker, y'all, like they went to Google and then they they listen to this lecture, y'all, and then they click it and they do this to them. Education. What? Education. <laughs> Education. Education. And then if they don't really know, now they fucked. Uh, hold on, y'all. Let's take that back. Let's take that back. Sometimes you, you Google get drunk. So you get the first time with her. You get one time with her. She ain't Siri. You know what I'm saying? She's somebody else. That's, that's Cynthia or some motherfucker about. <laughs> that ain't Siri. Siri is on a lot more on point than that. That's Cynthia. That's Siri. That's Siri, auntie, best friend, baby daddy, baby mama, Cynthia, who's on here right now. That ain't Siri. That's Cynthia. You hear me? I don't know who the fuck. What is she on? Education. What? Education. That's definitely Cynthia. That's Cynthia. That's Cynthia right there, y'all. That ain't Siri, nigga. I'm telling you right now. That is Siri, cousin, baby, daddy, baby, mama, Cynthia. From across the street, the one that always wear the little slides with the little dollars on them. The little dollar signs on them. Yeah, the one that she be knowing all the motherfucking, the latest cuts. She be knowing every Cardi B song. That's who that is. You hear me? I don't know what she on. So don't listen to her. Because then you be like... I can just imagine a motherfucker that you go to, you, you know what I'm saying? You gonna say somebody 17 watching here right now, right, y'all? And I told them to go to Google, and they go to Google, and then now they now imagine them in class though, at home online. And you know, they in front of the teacher. The teacher's like, so tell us what you learned. And he's gonna stand up like, yeah, so I learned that the Jucation system is Jucation. Yeah, Jucation. And then because Google said it, you know, nigga, I'm defeating that with his, with his all. Like, Jucation. What's your, what's your made up? I did go, it's right there on Google. How you gonna tell me that? That's what that say. I, I even clicked, I listened. Rashad Jamal said, there it go. There it go. 
Now you in. I'm already in tune with Lil Dirt and his people. They mad. Niggas blowing niggas management. Come on, man. Our artists trying to sell records, man. You ain't got to let everybody know. Niggas mad. Lil Baby, the people mad. I'm still blocking him from going live on Instagram. Come on, man. I... The teachers starting to get mad at me all over America because I'm exposing that they ass to sellouts for not telling the truth in school. You know what I'm saying? You niggas, they worse than the rappers. You know what I'm saying? You niggas worse than the rappers and the drug dealers. They got nothing on the teachers. Y'all sold y'all soul first. Nigga rappers just started selling they soul. Nigga teachers, y'all been selling y'all soul since it's been a, 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 a education system, goddammit. Since it's... She said it's education today. So instead of education, y'all, it's education today. Can't nobody tell us it ain't that. What, what, what's Cynthia on? Y'all need to get on the phone with Cynthia then. We just on here, we, we, we Googling shit. See what I'm saying? And it's why you can't trust Google, y'all. You see what I'm saying? You can't just trust. That's what I be trying to get y'all to see. You got to go in here. You got to go within, guys. Guys, we got to go in. We never needed anything outside of us, nigga. You know what I'm saying? We can't trust these hoes. Look at these heifers on here lying. Look at Cynthia on here lying. Education. We can't trust her. She immediately falls in frequency. Because we all know that's say education. Fuck is you steady saying? And you're steady saying it consistently. So what if we didn't really know if that says education, you didn't spit the whole motherfucking picture frame around that quick. Y'all see what I'm saying? This is the shit I talk about in live motion, y'all. In live motion. Here I am trying to make an example, and an example turns into a, a quick gem about why you can't trust Wikipedia and Google. Just think about that. If honestly somebody, it's a kid right now in America looking up that word, and they already know to do this, and when they doing this, this is what they hear. Education. Let's give her a second chance. Maybe it's my computer. So we'll refresh. We'll, I'll fucking goddamn it. I'll refresh the page. I just refreshed the page. Now, hold on. Hold on, university. I'll refresh the page. Let me refresh it live. Hold on. We, we, we refreshed. All right. Now, we need to hear education. Right. You hear me, MM? We steady here in education because we need you today. We need you today, and if we can't rely on you to keep it real about education, we can't rely on you for shit else today. Ain't no need in me even showing y'all the tablet. Not today. I can give y'all this shit straight from here. Even when I go there, I just try to back up what I'm saying a little bit for those who don't understand it here because some people want to see a little something. You know what I'm saying? But we can't trust this whole Google today. If she going to play like that, we not going to trust this whole with no more intellect. We don't trust you with no more of our searches. We don't trust. <laughs> we can't trust... We can't trust you today. Cynthia on your Cynthia on some whole other shit. Now we're gonna give Cynthia one more chance. We've refreshed the page three times now. Alright? So now, maybe we can get it now. Maybe that's why I say we're gonna let what she what she gotta tell us. What she telling us. Come on, Cynthia now. We need you, Cynthia. We're rooting for you now. Education. There we go. There we go. God damn it. God damn it. It was us, it wasn't them. Thank you. Woo! Shit! You know what I'm saying? It was us, it wasn't them. We ain't gonna tell no lies, no shock rope, and it was us, it wasn't them. All right? <laughs> God damn! Now we can really move, because I ain't even wanna, listen, y'all, I ain't even wanna pull up no more search boxes, nigga. Look how many boxes I got up, y'all. Look at all these boxes. All these boxes for the lecture, y'all. Come on, man. We, you know. We only had 74 minutes. Y'all know me. I'm Mr. Three-Hour Lecture himself. You get what I'm saying? So, shit, nigga, you know what I'm saying? We cooling. Let me let's hear one more time. Make sure she and she ain't drunk. Education. Oh, there she go again. Oh, she's back. It wasn't us. It was them guys. We can't. We can't. <laughs> Y'all heard her? Look. Look, <laughs> look, y'all, just when I thought it was us, it was them. Ah. <laughs> what the hell? You see what I'm saying? Damn, y'all. Let me try 
try this again. Y'all, let me, let me. Education. Uh. I had to, y'all. I had to step out here get me some, get me some some We going to get through this, y'all. We going to get through this, man. We going to get through this. All right? We just know we can't trust that hoe today. That's all. That's all that is. I had high hopes for. I put on a pedal stool, and you can't turn a hoe to a housewife. That was my fault, y'all. See what I'm saying? We can't turn no hoes to no housewives, and that's what I was trying to do. I put too much faith in her, y'all. So you know what I'm saying? Put too much. I put too much faith in her, y'all. You can't trust this hoe today. We know we can't turn no hoe to no housewife, so I don't even know why we tried to. You hear me? I don't know what, why we even tried to, y'all. For real. I got to make... You bet you a roll up. I'm finna roll. You a roll up? Thank you, bet. Yeah, man. All right, so this is what I was saying to the youth. Those was listening. When you when you when you looking up something, if you don't know how to enunciate it, you get one time on Google for them to say it right. I, don't trust them after the first time, because from what I'm seeing, she'll say it right the first time, and then after that, she gonna spin you around. All right. So you feel me? Um, but this is how you research things. All right, you don't just jump over words. To me, that's what we was talking about. I don't want to lose folks what we was talking about. But don't just jump over words, though. You see what I'm saying? I know it's enticing to jump over words that we don't know. But it's no. Dive in there. You know what I'm saying? Dive in there. Yeah, they blocked the sky down. They got the sky. They, they got they, you know, they cloak in the sky right now. So they, so they, they move. They transporting spaceships back and forth. For this UFO, uh, fake UFO invasion, they finna turn it up a notch. So that's, I ain't spoke about that because today we talk about the uh, uncle scam. All right? So, that's cool though. So hold on. I got one more slide to pull up and then we're we gonna be ready to go, y'all. For those of you who just walked in, y'all ain't missed nothing. Y'all in good hands. Y'all ain't missed nothing. We 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 just we just we just building right now. We just being we just being us. Okay, cool. That's what I we got that up. Boom boom. All right. I'm I'm definitely hoping a lot of my twenty ones and unders are in here right now, man, for this one. And even if you even if you over twenty one, this still needs to be understood because you need to understand what they are trying to do to the kids and what they have done to you. Because if you already passed the college age and all that, well, really, you can never pass the age of college because you can go to college at any age. You feel me? And I ain't going to lie. I'm going to tell you, it is certain perks to college, but I don't feel like you should pay for it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to get into that. I'm going to get into that a minute. I'm going to get into that. Alright, 
So, <coughs> hold on, Alex. All right, I'm back, y'all. So look, let's talk about it. Okay, so we already opened up the university. All right, so we all on the same page. So let's talk about college. Now, we already know that I'm gonna just speak about America. Because I don't know about overseas. And I don't need to know about overseas because all forms because because all forms sorry about that because all forms of education are designed to entrap the people. Okay? All forms are designed to entrap the people. Alright? So I don't need to know overseas. We're just going to talk about over here in the United States of America, which the USA is, is supposed to be. The USA is what? The world power. Okay? So let's talk about how college is over here for the world power, which is um, the British Royals' most famous and lucrative company is the USA. Okay? Because it's owned by the British Royals. All right? Now... Why do they even make us go to school? They make us go to school so that they can reprogram us. So they, they send us to school at the age of two. Preschool starts at two in most states over here in the United States of America. So two, three, four, you're in preschool. You don't have to go to preschool. But I went to preschool and a lot of people went to preschool. Preschool, you didn't really have any homework. You know, you was just kicking it. It wasn't really like they was letting you still be you. Kindergarten, no homework. You was still kind of being you, but they were starting to program you with emotions and colors and, you know, showing you how to globe. Like they showed you the globe in kindergarten. You wouldn't even think the planet was round today if they never lied to you in college. I mean, in, in school, in kindergarten, and told you that. This is when they first start... Um, yeah, preschool, daycare, same thing. But yeah, this is when they this is when they they first start giving you this. They're giving you these things. Now, you advance K through eight. So that's normally elementary school, eight, you graduate kindergarten, you go first, second grade, that's when they start programming you. So they take eight years to fill you up with the basic solid foundation for what they will need to control you with. That's the, that's what it's about. Okay? They need you to have a certain belief system. So what they did was they attacked us young. They make uh, they made us go into their schools, which are their, their reprogramming centers. And school is where you lost you at. Most people lost themselves and their soul in school. You went into school with all these big hopes. You went into school as a little four-year-old, five-year-old. They ask you, what did you want it to be? Well, you, you had so many things you wanted to do. By eighth grade, going into high school, you a whole different motherfucker. What happened to that strong, pure, happy soul that was just so full of life that they now call innocence? That's not innocence, that's life. They rob us of life and fill us with death. Which is a zombie-like death. They feed us with lies. They numb our emotions. They feed us emotions. They feed us lies about where we're at. They tell us all about what we can't do. They tell us the sky is the limit. Ain't no fucking limits. All these, they roll out all these little stigmas that you begin to adopt and you and you subconsciously implant in you. And they do all this kindergarten through eighth grade. 
I remember, well, I don't know if it's still like that, but I know when we was in eighth grade, we couldn't even go to high school unless we passed something in Illinois that they called the Constitution Test. And the Constitution Test was strictly about them drilling you about how all these white people discovered this and discovered that and what wars were fought. Mm -hmm. But they never taught teaching you like the truth behind the wars. You get what I'm saying? So they filling you with all this shit and then you couldn't even go into high school unless you get unless you pass that test. Now let's talk about that that so the whole what is the curriculum like of just regular school? The whole curriculum is to reprogram you into believing that you are less than what you really are. That's the entire curriculum of kindergarten through eighth grade. We never would have known about emotions had nobody had a big ass billboard with pictures that said, This is happy, this is mad, this is sad, this is you knew nothing about those emotions. And it's emotions that fucks us up today. You never needed emotions. We you knew nothing about as a baby don't know nothing about emotions and they what we would call as happy as can be. Do babies know about emotions? No, they don't. Look how happy a newborn baby is, though. We call it happy. You would call it happy. It's not happy. It's just vibrating high. You perceive that high vibration as happiness because it feels good to you. But you, once you teach this baby emotions, that vi the vibration lowers. We begin to lose our glow. Look at your kid picture of you as a kid. Look at how you glow and look at you now. Go look at a picture of you as a kid. And any of us, you could take the most innocent motherfucker that ain't never been to jail or ain't never even as so much as use profanity. Look at their adult picture and look at their kid picture. Mm -hmm. You're going to notice a huge difference. The soul has been contaminated now. The spirit is contaminated with emotions and low vibrations and spirits and that don't supposed to be on you. But they have been forth, taught to you through school. And your parents didn't know. Your parents was too busy trying to work. I don't care what age you is. When you was a kid, what was your parents doing? Working. Pay attention to the same fucking... That's why the cycle ends with us. I told myself, like, listen, I told the ancestors, like, my vessel open. Have y'all need me, use me. And they started using me. Reminding me who I, all that like, cause I'm like that shit ends with, with my generation. I'll be damned if that continues. That ain't gonna that cycle ends on my generation. It's gonna end one way or another. Hopefully it don't have to go to violence, but goddamn it, if it have to go, I ain't scared to get violent. Hopefully we can change it with, with, with it out getting violent. But if we can't, then hey, we gonna we are going. It's it's we ain't gonna keep going in this direction. This is the true murder that goes on that nobody ever talks about. The murder of our minds as babies in school. That's the true murder nobody talks about. It, well, they kill us off before we even get to high school. You're now just a body that's going the way that they want you to go. When you first got here, you was a whole soul and a spirit with a soul contract. Now, by the time you go into high school, you trying to make sure you get good grades so you can go to college so that you can hopefully live the American dream. Nigga, you didn't come here to live the American dream, though. See how you forgot who you was? You didn't come here to go to college, nigga. You didn't come here to work for them. That's all part of the American dream, of their American dream. You didn't come here to just marry your wife or marry your husband, have babies, and leave nigga that's all part of their american dream that's what they want you to just come here and do that too yeah you didn't just come here to just be an athlete you know what i'm saying and then they used like man listen the the, uh, the athlete the look it's so fucked up like a lot of athletes don't even know they'll never have a chance to make it man to where they trying to get to why you think they always taught you, man, so many people start off trying to be big athletes, but only very few make it. They make it that way. And it has nothing to do with talent. I told y'all, man. I told y'all what's going on in that NBA. I told y'all what's going on with this NFL. 
you know how many people was real people. Then it, it, sometimes they have, listen, some, you have so many athletes this planet now because they want to control the narrative. They have plenty of athletes in the city. Let them grow up. They've been created this man, whole robot or whole synthetic Mach 5 clone. And then people don't know about synthetics in Mach 5. So these are advanced clones and advanced robots that look more human than me. I mean, look more real than me and you. There's kids all over the planet right now shooting jumpers on the court. But if they not a fucking robot, they not making it to the NBA. And if they is that good to be, to be better than the robots that these elites created to even make it to the NBA, then they finna sit there and try to motherfucking Derrick Rose them. Michael Jordan them. Kobe Bryant them. Look how they did Kobe. They waited to the end of his career to get him. They did Kobe so dirty. See what I'm saying? They let him do all that shit. Okay, cool. They been told him to fall back. They warned him with the rape case. He ain't listen. He went and won two more rings. They're like, oh, okay. We got you. Go ahead. Enjoy your career. Because when you retire, you ain't going to have that many after that. That's what they was on with him. You know what I'm saying? Jordan. Silas Tim. Jordan won't talk about shit. Jordan won't talk about shit. Jordan be so quiet. Why you think Jordan cried so hard when Kobe died, man? Nigga, nah, ain't nobody know Jordan fuck with Kobe like that. Because when Kobe was playing, it was always like Kobe's supposed to be the next Mike and they had a fake beat. And then even when Kobe was hooping and Mike retired, Mike never really came out and just gave him super love. You know, at the most we seen Mike do was play with him in the All-Star game. They cracked a couple jokes. But that it was never like, you know, Kobe put it out there that he would hit up Mike every now and then. He said it throughout his career, but it wasn't like to see Mike crying like that. You yeah. Exactly. Jordan owned prisons. Exactly. That's exactly what I'm saying. I hope you're saying that with me and not against me. Because the way you type that, you got to remember, it's text. It came out like you. Like you said, I'm on Jordan's side or something. No, I'm saying Jordan is an actual, human, an actual God that actually played that game. It's a whole bigger picture that you need to look at. It's like, that's why I say the athletes, the athlete, athletics is fucked up. Now, in track and field, guess what? They don't got, they're not using robots. And in track and field, they not cloning them. What they doing in track and field is different. They'll let your ass race. And if you good, you and if you good, okay, cool. You could come run for us. You could come tumble for us and be a gymnast. Oh, uh, you don't want to do that for us? Okay, cool. Don't worry about it. They gonna marry and Jones your ass. Mary and Jones was a motherfucker that was against a lot of racism and bullshit that these people was on. And Mary and Jones, Mary and Jones was smoking their ass. In track and field. Go look it up, y'all. Marion Jones won like five fucking medals in one Olympic. I think that was in 2001. She did that in Australia or some shit. It had never been done. And like all, she was like a beast. And she wasn't just 100, 100 meters. She was 100 meters, 200 meters, and a long jump. She won golds and all that shit. Guess what they did to her? Because Marion Jones used to speak out about shit people don't know this. Like they didn't know Prince did a lot of speaking out. When he was alive, people didn't know. It, right? Mary and Jones spoke out a lot. So what they do? They took her fucking medals. They said she was they came back a few years later and was like, listen, either we gonna either we gonna kill you or you gonna shut the fuck up and we gonna take your medals for being disobedient. She didn't wanna die, so she shut the fuck up. They took all her medals and put a story out and said that Marion Jones lost her medals because she ended up shit that they found that they found out that she was dirty, that she was running, that when she was in the Olympics, she was on steroids. But you could look at Marion Jones' frame and tell that she wasn't no fucking steroids, nigga. <laughs> you feel me? Like you could tell when a motherfucker on steroids. You can see it in their frame. Even the uh even even the track even even the track stars. They have a like when you get on them steroids, you get a different type of Build to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't, you won't even, you know what I'm saying? She wasn't on no fucking steroids. She was skinny, slim, and naturally a beast. But when you, if you're not all the way on, they on, they come at you like that. So, all that pertains with college. It's the same thing with college. It's like they take you K through eight, right? They took us through college and, I mean, through, 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 through schooling to embed this basic set of a thought process. So, what's everybody's basic thought process? 
graduate high school so that you can go to college. Go to college, graduate college so that you can get a good job. Get out, get a good job. You're supposed to go find you a good wife or a good husband. And then y'all settle down, have kids. And then you bring in six figures a year off the fucking uh, major that you went to college for. Whatever you got a degree in, you're supposed to be bringing in six figures a, a year better in that department. That's what that's what the American dream is. And that's what college prepares you for. It's a part of that. To the point that when, right now, it's people that went to college that feel like they better than people that went to high school. They didn't go to college. You know what I'm saying? It's people that, that's how it's set up. Why? Because K through eighth, kindergarten through eighth grade was all was, was based around building you into being a citizen, into being a slave. All right? Into making you feel that it's all about getting a good job. And getting married, having kids, settling down, and then retiring off your 401k. That's putting you in ground in them eight years. When you go in high school, you're trying to actually achieve what's been put in you. Because high school is pressure now. Because you're like, damn, I only got four years. I got to get these good grades. If I don't get a, a high enough grade point average, certain colleges ain't going to let you in, right? And you got kids in high school trying to get to college because they feel the pressure. Your parents like, what you going to do after high school? Right? <laughs> this is the system. This is the system, y'all. So, hey, but you, you, you get in high school and it's all this pressure. You know, that it, the pressure is so big that it's it's a fucking it's legendary. It's called peer pressure. The pressure in high school is so fucking big that this pressure is legendary to all who has went through the age groups of thirteen to eighteen or nineteen. Thirteen to nineteen is when you a teen. Them are your peer pressure years. Right? But all this pressure has been built from the system that put it in you for eight years before you got to high school. You finally get to high school, now you faced with all this pressure. You got your friends, they finna go off to college. You, Do you know how many people felt bad when they didn't get to go to college? It's a lot of people that felt bad that they didn't get to go to college, man. And then the people that went to college don't make it no better because then they come back and they know it's a stereotype, so they throw it in their face. I went to college. And the people that just went to high school, they feel like they ain't shit. And it break down like that. Like, I dropped out of high school. The motherfuckers that, that graduated high school looked, at, looked down on me at the time I dropped out. Feel me? And I felt bad. Like, damn. Don't nobody see what I see. But fuck it, I had to go my way. I walked out of school. They call it dropping out. I don't call it dropping out. I say I walked out. I was through with the system. I've been rebellious. I, but they can call it dropping out. But I walked out. But you know how many people looked down at me? I was talked about at that time. I was laughed at. I was ridiculed. You know? I felt bad. You know what I'm saying? My mom wanted to see her son walk across the stage. Her other kids did walk across the stage. I didn't. Everybody in the family walked across the stage and graduated high school. And my family but me. Y'all see what I'm saying? I come from the family where niggas graduated high school. I don't come from that family where I'm the first to graduate high school. It's the opposite. I'm the first motherfucker in the family to drop out of high school. Or walk out of high school. I walked out of high school. In 12th grade, I had college scholarships, y'all. I had already got accepted to Northern Illinois, Southern Illinois. All my little local state colleges had already accepted me. I just literally was tired of this shit. I didn't want no diploma. So the people that graduated looked down on people like me that didn't graduate high school. I settled for a GED. Cause then after I walked out of school, like six months, like a few, like five, six months later, it came to my attention that you gonna need something in this system. I'm like, well, fuck it, I'll go get the GED. 
Fuck it. And I got the GED in like three months. I scored so high on the fucking GED test, they was like, what the fuck? How, what the fuck is you doing with a GED? Like, like, literally, I scored so high on my GED test, they was like, why did you just, why didn't you just, I could have took, I could have went and got the diploma or the GED. I said, no, give me the GED. I still, you get what I'm saying? Just to rebel. I was talked about for years. Meanwhile, the things I'm teaching y'all now, I was teaching that too back then. I was talking about that, but I was crazy to people. He crazy. He weird. You see what I'm saying? I'm still like, like, there's people that still look at me like that. I just don't give a fuck what the world think about me, nigga. I'm here to enlighten and inform, nigga. You, you ain't got to believe shit I'm saying. It's going to be revealed to you every time I say it. That's how it always go. I said, you see it later. So what I'm saying is, I can speak on that pressure because I know that pressure. Exactly. Everybody, shout out to uh, Kafisha Thomas. Exactly. Everyone has their own journey. Exactly. So that's why y'all got to be comfortable in y'all skin. But understand what I'm saying tonight, though, about college and Uncle Scam. Everybody felt that pressure, y'all. I'm just not scared to say, put my life out there in front of y'all. I hide nothing from y'all. The good, the ups, the downs. For what? Motherfuckers talk shit about me when I was at the bottom. Motherfuckers gonna talk shit about me when I'm trying to help my people. Anywhere it go, it's gonna always be some type of strain. That's with anybody though, y'all. That's, that's because we living in this ether, y'all. But this shit is built by them, though. That pressure, that strain, which y'all got to see is passive. It's built by them. That's what I'm showing y'all today. So now, the people that, that didn't go to high, that didn't go to college, because guess what? The people that graduated high school was looking down on me that didn't graduate high school. But the people that graduated high school but didn't go to college are looked down upon by the people that went to college. See what I'm saying? Because the people that went to college, they graduated high school, and then they went to college. So they went to college. Somebody said Kylie went hard as fuck today. Shout out to Kylie. That's my brother. God I always go hard. He go hard every day if you ask me. I love, I love seeing other gods fight for the struggle. Fight for the cause. I'm behind them ten toes. But. Now the people that's in college, they look down on the people that didn't graduate high school. And now that they in college... They feel achieved. And that's what I'm here to kill today. Let's kill this dissension. If you went to college and you graduated college, that just means that you were more, more thoroughly trained. You have been more miseducated. Because college is tricky. Now, if you went to college and you knew exactly what you wanted to go for and you applied that to your life, that don't apply to you because you actually beat them at their game. Those of you who went to college, graduated, and you actually are doing what you love to do, you are doing your purpose. Long as what you do fully fulfills, fulfills you and makes you happy, you're doing your purpose. But that's very few of you. College is a scam for the average black or Latino person that goes there. You know how many people? There's more people that go to college and don't even finish than people that go to college and finish. Did you know that? Did you know that? See, I'm unique. I dropped out of high school and went back, got a GED later. Then I went back and got in college later. That's how I did it. So I was able to see all walks. I know college is scam. We're going to keep breaking it down, though. But it's more people that went to college and didn't finish 
than people that went to college and finished. Now, let's go deeper. It's people that went to four years of college, which is a bachelor's degree, because two years is an associate's degree. Four years is a bachelor's degree. It's people that went to college and got their bachelor's degree, finished college and all, and they not even working in the department that they got a degree in. Did you know that? Now, you got all these people that went to college and they ain't even finished, right? That's one group of people. Then you got a whole nother group. There's more of them than that first group that actually went to college, actually got their degree, and they ass ain't working in the department that they got their degree in. It's people that actually went and got their master's degree and they not even working in the department that they got their degree in. Four years is a bachelor, eight years is master's. That. You know what makes it a scam? Here, babe. You know what makes it a scam? The average person that has to go to college has to pay to go to college. Now, this is why I got my own online university, right? And yeah, I charge, but I don't charge for no fucking college charge. The most I'm charging a motherfucker is $333.33. That's for a whole year subscription on my website. In college, do you know how much you finna pay to go to college? For four years? Nigga, ain't no college in America. You see what I'm saying? Listen, we, I'm gonna pull it up. That's why I got the laptop. I'm talking first. I'm gonna prove everything I'm saying. You 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 gotta pay to go to college. I had to pay to go to college. I owe Sally May 8000 right now that she ain't gonna never get. You see what I'm saying? It ain't about me having it. It's about the fact that y'all scared, y'all played me, man. See what I'm saying? First off, it's two sides to the scam. Yeah, I owe her ass A rats that she ain't gonna never get. Facts. I've been saying it. She knows she ain't gonna get it. I, she stopped emailing me. I ain't giving your ass shit. So look, right? Yeah, because, you know, I went to jail when I was in college for my bachelor's degree in business administration, and then I got locked up on that first degree attempt murder. So the money that she gave me was already allotted. But I ain't even get the whole eight racks because I was locked up. So if I was locked up, how the fuck y'all gonna keep charging me for some shit I wasn't even out? Even, I, I was locked up, nigga. I literally got locked up on my way home from college. So that ended my whole college, but my bachelor's degree, all that went on hold. I had to go do sit in jail for four years, and I went into a better college because I went deep in here. You feel me? Them same books that I'm that they charge you thousands of dollars for a year in college, you can buy yourself for fifty bucks, a hundred dollars, right online. They get the same books, literally. <laughs> you feel me? Like so, they charge you all this money. To go to college. You paying for thousands for books. And then you get up in there and they still lying to you. They just get they just got better with the lies. High school they lied because they knew you weren't paying attention. College they gotta get better with the lies because they know you paying. You personally paying now, so they know you paying attention. See what I'm saying? <laughs> so nigga, they got better with the lies. But it's still the same shit. 
Nigga, you can go buy the books yourself right now and read them, nigga. The same books. Nigga, go ask somebody that's in your family that's in college what their major is. Ask them what book they reading right now in their course. And when they tell you, ask them how much they paying for that book. They gonna tell you because they, they paying. They going to college. They know. And then you go look that book up. Nigga, this book. Nigga, this book stay. Nigga, I ain't knocking nobody hustle, nigga. But hold on, nigga. This book says it's only like a hundred dollars online, one fifty. Some books three hundred, cool. How how y'all want ten racks though? How I'm paying two racks for these two books? So y'all just charge me twenty five hundred dollars for the same book that's three hundred dollars. And then. You making me pay extra fees because at the end of the day, I got to pay it on a whole every year, yearly, nigga. Now, Sally Mae, she don't fuck with us because the bitch is loaning us money. Bitch, just give us the money. If you really want us to go to college, why wouldn't you just give us the money? Why would you loan a 16-year-old, a 17-year-old, are we 18 when we coming out of high school? You know how credit work. Y'all know y'all ain't taught us nothing about no credit in nobody high school. <laughs> nothing about no business. None of this. You know this shit holds so much value in y'all real adult world. And you gonna loan a nigga some, you gonna loan me this shit? Like y'all don't get it? Like y'all don't print the money? It's bad enough y'all stole from the parents. Y'all gonna steal from the babies coming out. We coming fresh out. Sally hit me for eight of them. Sally, I wasn't even 21 yet. I wasn't even 21 how I owe y'all anything. Nigga, I wasn't even 21. I owe y'all eight of them. How you, gonna, how you gonna put a nigga in the hole eight racks? He ain't even 21. Think about it though. Just think about it though. Man, there's people a bit deeper than that. It's people that's be deeper than that. Motherfucker, 22, that's still young. You 22, you in a whole 10,000. You ain't even got your own house yet. You come out of, you come out of high, you feel me? You come out of college in the hole. You come out of college, motherfuckers come out of college, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50, 100,000. Some motherfuckers, 80,000 in the hole. You feel me? You don't even got that job yet, nigga. College gave you paperwork. They didn't give you a job, nigga. They supposed to fuck a degree. Why not once niggas graduate, have a job for them lined up in the in their department that you just educated them in? You give a nigga some paper that you know don't know don't mean shit out here. Cause don't no motherfucker give a fuck if you got 20 years in college. When you go on a job site, nigga, what the experience like? You got motherfuckers walk on that job, ain't got no degree. But they got 15 years of hardcore experience in this shit. You got paperwork. Who you think they gonna hire? Who, nigga, I, nigga, I, right now I'm finna be hiring motherfuckers. Nigga, who you think I'm gonna hire? A motherfucker that go, that's like, hey, I got a master's degree, Divine, inside in this. Or a motherfucker that look like, that's like, look, Divine, they can show me. Like, look, I know you gonna need you hiring people on your company. Look, I actually do this type of paperwork. Look, I've been doing this shit 15 years in my company. <laughs> I want the motherfucker that's been getting dirty. That's any business owner. I want the motherfucker that's got their hands in the mud. So, you went to eight years, 12 years of college, nigga. You ain't put no hands in no mud, nigga. You been, you got paper, man. That goofy shit out my face, nigga. Do you got real life on the job practice? You ain't had that yet, so it's like you starting from scratch. And you 50 of them in the hole. 10 of them in the hole. Only fuck if you one in the hole, nigga. You don't need to be in no hole. You got shit to pay. You got bills. Phone bill. But whoever you stand with, you gonna have to help them with rent. Then still stay with your own money to get your own shit. Then you fucking, so you about got kids or kids on the way. Boy, nigga don't need to be in no hole. Especially when you bitches owe my parents. Remember, we the kids coming out. Y'all already owe our great, 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 great grandparents, nigga. And then y'all charging us thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars for shit. That y'all know we don't have for 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 intellect.